Today, the application economy is driving disruption of markets and business models as companies promote their brand, their products, and their services through their web and their mobile applications. You need to deliver software like your business depends on it, because indeed it does, and you no longer have the luxury of time. This means you need to develop applications quickly and on a continuous basis, at quality, and at a lower cost. Adopting an end-to-end -end continuous delivery software factory is the only way to make that happen. Continuous delivery helps you bring higher quality software to market, continuously improving the way you take an idea, plan it, build it, test it, orchestrate its delivery and adoption by your end users. By integrating the processes and the tool chain across all these stages, you can eliminate the friction points in your software development lifecycle while ensuring your applications are aligned with your organization's business objectives. Sounds great, right? But it also comes with a number of challenges. For one, developers can't get the resources they need to develop the applications and run the unit and regression tests of each component. And when your code moves over to the testing environment, you experience even more bottlenecks. Take, for example, the fact that 70% of all testing is still manual. Then, once the code is finally ready to be deployed to the production environment, you have to juggle so many disparate tools that they aren't fully integrated to get this job done. This is only further complicated by composite applications and microservices which require parallel deployments. But we can solve that problem by applying the three pillars of continuous delivery that work hand in hand. Improving the velocity of development, becoming an agile testing team, and automating the code pipeline end to end. There are a number of ways to improve development velocity. Implementing an agile approach to development can reduce the cost and time to deliver by 30 to 50 percent when compared to a waterfall-based approach. And as composite applications become the norm, solutions that can help you manage and secure APIs throughout the lifecycle will become critical. Finally, the ability to virtualize those third-party and back-end services will relieve the constrained resources and help eliminate friction in your development process. In order to become an agile testing team, automation is key. With automated testing, especially of APIs, you can cover more tests at a lower cost. And don't waste money and time setting up physical environments for testing. Instead, simulate them to mimic the production environments needed to run the right tests at the right time. To get better test results, you'll need to take production data to drive your test cases. Of course, when working with production data, you'll need to mask it and subset it for privacy. You'll need to be able to generate synthetic data to create new data sets for new use cases and to report on the data usage for compliance. Automating the code pipeline end-to-end -end comes down to developing complex release processes once and then reusing those processes across applications and environments from development to test to production. This includes automating the core applications as well as all of the dependencies and microservices and getting the timing and the sequencing of all those dependent code streams correct. And because there are always multiple systems at play, it's also about bringing together all of the deployment models and orchestrating them across systems. Finally, you'll need to focus on continuous feedback and optimization. This includes the ability to plan, track, and report on your overall release process so that you can reduce the number of errors and systematically improve the reliability of future releases. Everything in the ecosystem must be integrated and working together to truly harness the power of continuous delivery, which will put you well on your way to translating your effort into real-world business value.